I'm Detective Sergeant Terry Brown of the Toronto Police Service Homicide Squad. I'm here to talk about Homicide 19 for 2012 that occurred on Monday, May 14th in the year 2012. At around 6 o'clock, Toronto Police Service responded to a 911 call for a pedestrian-struck motor vehicle accident that occurred on King Street East in and around the area of Jarvis Street and George Street in Toronto. When Toronto Police arrived on scene, they located a male with severe trauma as a result of this motor vehicle accident. As the investigation unfolded, officers spoke with uh, independent witnesses who were on scene and we seized a security video that captured portions of the incident that happened. As a result of that information that we've received so far, we have charged a 43-year-old male with second-degree murder in relation to the death of a 28-year-old uh, resident of Toronto. That resident is Ralph Bizonette. We're asking right now for the assistance of anyone that may have been in and around the area of uh, King Street around that time, around 6 p.m. If you witnessed this incident and have not come forward, we really, really, really want to hear from you and we want to speak to you because we want to make sure that we get uh, all the information that we can uh, related to this incident. Also, if you were in and around the area and may have seen our, uh, our now deceased, uh, Mr. Bizonet operating his skateboard in and around the area. It's one of these longboard skateboards. Uh, I think it would stand out uh, significantly to someone if, if you saw it. If you saw him in and around the area on the skateboard, if you can contact us as well, we're certainly trying to get a, uh, a narrative and trace the movements of Mr. Bizonet in the moments leading up to his death. Anyone having any information whatsoever on this matter can contact me directly at the Homicide Squad, 416-808-7403. If you wish to remain anonymous, you can also submit your tips through Crime Stoppers as well, either online or through the telephone services and through our new text message system.